Hi everyone, today we have for you 6 tips for registering for VAT in the UAE. Hey everyone, before we move ahead, please click on the subscribe button to stay updated on our weekly business and finance related content which is incredibly useful for business owners, CEOs, CFOs, entrepreneurs and those who aspire to be one. Now let's get back to the video. So if you're trying to figure out how to register your company for VAT in the UAE, then you're watching the right video. First, let's get into why it's important that the registration process is done correctly. If there are errors in the registration, you could expose yourself to having hefty penalties. You could have delays in the registration process and you could also have challenges in making amendments once the registration process is approved and the TRN certificate is issued. Now let's get into our six tips. The first one is starting the registration process on time. This is something that we have discussed in one of our older videos as well. A common mistake that many business owners do is that they register for VAT too late and expose themselves to getting hefty penalties. We recommend starting the registration process as soon as you cross the voluntary threshold of 187,500 dirhams. What's also important to note is that businesses must keep all the documents ready so that they can start the registration process without any delays. Tip number two, register for customs before starting the VAT registration. If your business is expected to have imports, then this tip is especially important. Your customs number needs to be linked with your VAT registration portal. It's important that you mention the customs number during the registration process itself. If this is missed out, it would have to be amended after the TRN certificate is issued. The problem with that is, it takes far longer to get approved and the linking to be completed. Tip number three, mention the company's bank details. What we've noticed is that many startup owners mention their personal bank details instead of the company's bank details. It's important that the company's bank details is provided because in the future, if the company wants to get a refund from the FTA, then it would lead to complications if the company's bank details is not there. Tip number four, prepare the financials in the format requested by the FTA. What we have noticed is that many startup business owners simply provide an income statement for proof of turnover. However, the FTA has a specific format called the turnover declaration form. The turnover details needs to be provided in this format. If not, the FTA will send the registration back for resubmission and will cause delays in the registration process. Tip number five, attach the correct files. This seems like a very simple and obvious point. However, it's one of the most common mistakes that we've noticed. It's important to understand what supporting documents are required in each section of the registration process. If the wrong documents are provided, the FTA will most certainly request for a resubmission. This will cause delays in your registration process. The last and final tip is to provide the correct Arabic spellings. There isn't any major insight here. Non-Arabic speakers often make an error in the spellings, which does cause delays in the registration process. Hope these six tips are useful to you when you start out your registration process. Hey everyone, you've reached the end of this video. Thank you all for listening. If you like this content, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. If you'd like for us to talk about any specific topics, please do let us know in the comments below. Hope to see you in the next video.